Can you just sum up how you felt with a minute to go in that game and, and looking as though we were going to get a, a vital point at least? Yeah, yeah, you're dead right. A point was what we were looking for at that stage. I've never gone into any match, home or away, thinking that, well, a, a point will suffice. But the way the game had gone, a hurricane breeze blowing, uh, howling conditions, we played against the breeze second half, um, we've got an equalising goal, one goal each, and I think they had settled for the draw. In fact, five minutes to go, despite the fact they're playing with a strong breeze, they've twice got the ball, picked it up and knocked it back to their goalkeeper. He has just punted the ball the length of the field. And I, I found that I, di I couldn't believe Paul Hyde's positioning. It bounced one bounce and then over the net. It's something that I thought that I could see on a Sunday, um, a Sunday afternoon, something that I saw that I saw Pat Jennings score against Alex Stepney way back, I think, in 1967. I really never thought it would happen in my time of year, and it did. And it was, we, I never forget, but within a minute, the game was over. Barrett went over to, uh, to join forces with the Colchester crowd. They were absolutely ecstatic. They had won a big game. They felt it was a big match for them. And we've come into the dressing room and there was silence for about half an hour. I've got to say I was dumbfounded myself and I hadn't a clue what to say to them.